Hello and welcome to poll day number one for the Bowflex Exceed Extreme and PR3000. All of our lifts today are going to be running from this top set of pulleys so you can start racking yours up right now. The first two thirds of this are going to be using this lat pull down bar where we're going to be doing pull downs and we're going to be doing a number of rows from this top set of pulleys. After that though, we're going to hook up some handles and then we're going to be doing some bicep curls and then also some cross rows using these short handles here. You could also use the Bowflex handles if you don't have these handy. Um, I'm gonna be wearing gloves throughout this whole routine. If you got gloves, definitely recommend them when using this lap pull down bar. I'm also gonna be writing down all of my resistance as I go throughout this routine. And there's a link in the description where you can download this sheet. And the whole point of this is this routine is part of a larger program, this push pull legs program that I'm releasing on the channel called Foundations. And what this is gonna do is as you come back to these routines multiple times, you're gonna know what you did last time. And I want you to focus on at least doing that, if not raising the weight up or you know, trying to get it in a couple more reps and that's how you're gonna get stronger. So uh, all these routines are completely for free here on YouTube and uh, you know this, this printout is for free, but if you're looking for more structure or if you just wanna say, hey, I like what you're doing here and I wanna support it, check out the link in the description. These programs are very inexpensive and uh, they help support me for creating content like this. So anyways, uh, we are gonna be doing a little four minute warm up here in just a moment and then we are gonna rack up our resistance. So uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you're gonna be joining me and I'll see you right back. Let's go, let's get this started. Jogging in place here for about 90 seconds. Alternatively, you could do some high knees or some jumping jacks, whatever you wanna to do to get that heart rate up and our body warm so we can get a nice stretch going. And while we're doing this here, let me tell you about today's lifts. We're gonna be doing a couple variants of lat pull downs and a couple variants of rows throughout today's routine and also some bicep isolation work. So we're gonna have a wide lat pull down with the bar, a narrow lat pull down with the bar, and then we're also gonna have a cross lat pull down using handles. So at the same time, we're also gonna have some rows using the bar. We're gonna do a wide grip, a narrow grip, and then we're also gonna do some iso curls with those handles. So our lifts are gonna be a little bit out of order here. Not exactly what I said there, but just seems the easiest to, uh, to take it all in here. So we've got another 25 seconds. Let's pick up that pace a little bit. And we're gonna start winding it down here. We're just gonna go into some full head rotations, really loosen up our neck here. All right, let's take it down. And just some full head spins here. Let's change directions and bring it the other way around a few times. Then we go into some torso twists here, just trying to loosen up our back. Just for a few seconds here. Okay, let's move into some bent arm circles. So arms bent like a W here. And then we're just gonna roll them forward. Loosen up our chest, our back, our shoulders, and our arms with this motion here. All right, let's change directions. Go the other direction here. And now we're gonna move into some YTW. So for Ys, hands all the way up, reach up nice and high, and then bring them together, and then out wide as far as you can stretch them, and then together, and we're gonna make a nice W, hold it for a second, and then together. So let's do this a few times. Here we got a Y together, T together, and a W. And this W really squeeze your back. Let's bring it back up, a Y together, T together, and a W. Two more of these, let's go Y together, T together, and a W. Let's go Y together, T together, and W here. Okay, next I'm gonna move into some finger pulls, just trying to loosen up my forearms and my grip here. Just 
Just pulling these fingers back here. You can even let your wrist fall back a bit. Let's switch sides here. And for the final 25 seconds, you can do whatever you want here to you know, get loosened up, do what you need to do. I always like a forward fold. And that's what I'm gonna go into. Okay, let's start racking up our resistance. I'm gonna be racking up 140 pounds for this first exercise, and I encourage you to start out a little bit lighter than where you expect to go on this first set, and then you can raise it up for the following set. So my first set of the day, I always like starting just a little bit lighter. And uh, instead of targeting that 10 reps per set, I might be doing 12 in this first set here. And again, we're doing a lap pull down to get things started. I'm gonna get my gloves on and we'll get right on into this. So for lap pull down, you're gonna wanna grab the bar out nice and wide and you're gonna put your entire hand over the bar here, just like this. And then we're gonna sit down, tuck these legs in underneath the seat. And then I'm gonna lean back just a little bit, pulling this bar down nice and smooth, holding it for a sec and then slowly retract. So everybody in position, let's go. LB1, nice and smooth. Two. Exhale as you pull that bar down, that's three. Four. A five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, stay with me here. 10, we got two more. 11, and 12. Okay. So we're gonna be writing down our weight, but I also wanna encourage you to go ahead and adjust the weight if you want to. I'm gonna be adding a bit more. I'm now going up to adding about 20 pounds of power rods here. And now I'm moving to that 10 reps per set here. Okay. At the 10 second mark, I want you to start getting in position. At five seconds, I want you ready to go. Hands over those, the bar here. Now let's pull it down. That's one, two, three. Nice and slow. Four. Exhale on the way down. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. All right. How'd that resistance feel? Adjust as needed. And let's, uh, let's write our weight, data, weight settings down here. So we got one more set of lap pull down, and then we're gonna be moving into a, uh, a narrow grip standing row. For me, I like using the same weight setting as I'm using right now for that narrow grip row. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's knock this last set out. I want good form, and I want you going to failure on this set here. Here we go. This is one, two, three, 
four, five. Try to hold it in this isometric pause right at the end there. There's six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay. Very nice. Now, if you were able to do more than 10, the next time you come back to this routine, I want you to just try increasing the weight, maybe add, you know, five or 10 pounds of power rods on each side. So you can keep challenging yourself, keep raising the, raising the bar. Okay. Narrow grip standing rows and be up next here. Again, I like keeping my weight setting the same. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab uh, kind of about shoulder width apart here. So grab the bar like this, and then I'm gonna put one foot up on the bench here. And you need this for leverage. So then you can pull this bar back and then you're gonna hold that nice squeeze and then slowly release. So just like that there and then slow release. So everybody join me here, let's go. It's gonna be one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, two more. Nine. And 10, okay. Nice work there, one more set. That was tough, I'm keeping the same weight though. I'm shooting for 10. We'll see if I can get all 10 in. This is gonna be our last set of this narrow standing row, and then we're gonna do a narrow lap pull down coming up after this. As we go into that, I'm gonna add just a little bit of weight after the set. Okay, let's get in position here. Grab the handle. Let's get our foot up on the bench. We got less than five seconds, team. I want you with me here. Let's row it back. That's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and 10. All right. On to the narrow lap pull down. I'm gonna throw on another 30. So this is adding about 20% more weight on here, maybe 15%. You might wanna keep this the same. You know, it might seem like I'm changing the weight a lot. If this is your first time doing the routine, it's gonna feel that way probably. But when you come back to this routine, if you've been writing all your resistance down, it's gonna be a lot easier to keep up with this. So for a narrow grip pull down, I'm gonna grab the inside of it like I'm doing a chin up here. And then I sit down just like I was doing for lat pull down. And then when this timer ticks out, I'm gonna just pull this bar beneath my chin and then I slowly release it upwards. All right, team, under five seconds. Here we go, let's pull it down, that's one. Two. Three. Four, slow release. Five. Six. Seven. 
8, 9, and 10. I'm keeping it the same here for this last, last set here. And after this, we're gonna be doing another one of those standing rows, except we're doing a wide grip after this. So I'm gonna end up dropping the weight a bit. Okay, less than 10 seconds. Let's get in position, just like we're doing a chin up here. Okay, let's pull it down, and that's one. Two, slow negatives here. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's write it down and let's move on to the wide standing row. I'm going to be dropping the weight by about 25% as I go into this exercise here. So I'm back to 140 pounds on each side. This is what I, I started the whole day at when I did my first set of warm-ups for, uh, for lap pull down. This is just gonna be like the narrow grip row, except we got our hands out nice and wide. I've got them out on the, you know, kind of the softer part of the handles here. And we're just gonna pull this weight back, bring it back as far as you can go. And then once you join me here in two, one, let's pull it back, that's one. Two. Three. Now I can't bring the bar all the way back to my chest, but that's okay, that's four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, final set of rows coming up. I'm going to be keeping the weight the same here. And then we're going to be moving into a whole bunch of isolation curls. Really just torch those biceps. So after this set, we're going to have a few things we need to do. First thing is put on these shorter handles because you uh, can't really do bicep curls from this top thing with the, uh, the bar. And I'm also going to be dropping my weight down quite a bit. I'm almost going to be having the weight. So as soon as we wrap up this set, I want you removing this bar and we're going to start re-racking this stuff. But we got to knock this one out first. Five seconds to go. Get in position. Here we go. Let's row it back. That's one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. All right, team, we got to move here. Let's drop the weight 
and remove the bar. I'm gonna be dropping down to 80 pounds of power rods on both sides here. So I'm just removing my, uh, my elastic band here. And that's it, we got time to spare. Okay. So for this, I like stepping away from the machine so there's just a tiny bit of tension in the cables here. And then I'm gonna be curling this weight in, trying to keep this elbow locked in place. Let's get in position, y'all. One arm at a time here. Let's do 10 each. There's one, two, three, four, five. Exhale as you're curling in, that's six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, we have a shorter rest interval here, just 30 seconds for each side. So we're just gonna be spinning around, hit the other arm. Okay, down to six seconds here. I want you holding on, stepping away from the machine and ready to go in two, one, let's curl. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, I love that lift. It's kind of like the, uh, the bodybuilder pose where you know, you're flexing like that, standing up nice and tall. You're doing exactly that here. Okay, about 10 seconds. All right, let's grab on that handle, step away from the machine, a little bit of tension in there, and we'll get ready to go. Two, one, let's curl it in. Two, that's a nice flex, come on. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay. All right. Six seconds left. Let's get in position. Get ready to go. Two, one, let's curl. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. All right. One more on each side. I don't know if you all heard the beeping stop there. My clock just uh, looked like it wasn't gonna be working anymore, but it's counting down again. Okay, let's get in position. One more on each side, finish this out strong. Let's curl it in, that's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, do as many as you can here, seven, eight, I think I got 12, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Huh. Other side, last set of biceps. We're in the home stretch of the day. Okay, three seconds in position, get ready to curl. That's one, two, we're curling till failure. Come on, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Whew. Okay. Two sets remain. All right, now as we go into this final set, it's gonna be a crossover pull down. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the same weight or change it up. So let me just show you how this lift is gonna work real quick. You're gonna sit down here like we were doing a lat pull down, but we're gonna bring this weight down to our shoulders here and feel a nice squeeze in our back and let it release. I'm gonna add just a bit more weight here. And on this, I really want you to focus on this isometric hold, meaning when you're at full flex, that's when you're gonna hold the weight for about a second and then slowly release. Okay team, two, one, let's pull it down, hold it, and release. Crossing over these handles in front of us, that's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, one more set and we get to call it a day here. Before I do that, I wanna thank all of my elite Ko-Fi members here listed up on the screen. And they help make you know, producing routines like this possible. All my Ko-Fi members, if you don't know what that is, and I'm also on Patreon now, so you can check that out. Gets you access to all my workout programs, a workout journal, and uh, it helps support me directly. And at the $12 a month tier, you get your name in the credits, and you can also get a uh, kind of a one-on-one -on -one call to help you get set up with all this stuff. So check that out if uh, you know if you want to say thanks, and if you are enjoying the content, a uh, great way to, uh, to show a little love. So without you know further ado, let's uh, let's focus on this last set. Let's get in position. Why don't you give me all you got on this final set here. Let's pull it down, hold it, and that's one. Two, get that nice squeeze. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, I'm gonna keep going here. Nine. 10. 11. And 12. Okay, that's gonna do it here. Awesome job on finishing this routine. Don't forget to remove your power rods from tension and wrap them up with a bungee cord. So thank you again for joining me for this routine. And as always, I want you to be good to yourself, be good to others, and thanks for watching.